Capricorn, you have somebody that is watching you over the internet. From a distance, based on what we're seeing here, it looks like somebody who in the past has been, or the history is that they've been inconsistent, inconsistent and distant. It's the hermit here, the nine of pentacles here, very much Virgo vibes. And then it's also this Pisces energy here with the hangman. I feel like the history with this individual is that they've been inconsistent, flighty, in and out. Some of you dealing with a player, whether they are male or female. But now this person has had some time to introspect, reflect while they've been at a distance from you. I strongly feel that this person is watching you via the internet. Some of you possibly dealing with an air sign person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But do expect this person to reach out randomly again on the internet, texting you, DM, that kind of energy. Not a phone call, not just not coming up to you, but like very indirect, testing the waters kind of energy to see what's going on. And please, Capricorns, drop those repeating numbers that you've been seeing. We see multiple nines and threes here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, family. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please hit the like button, subscribe for my daily Capricorn readings, and be sure to comment down below. Drop your birthday, sun, moon, rising, and where you are watching from. I feel like what's bringing this particular person back is this which has been consistent in the readings lately. Again, subscribe and check the playlist because we're daily with it and organized. It's the glow up. It's the fact that you've been doing very well for yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Won a few awards, getting a lot of recognition. Your price went up, Capricorn. A lot of watching watching from a distance, wanting to know what's going on with you. I also feel like this is somebody who struggles with chronic boredom when I think of the hangman. And when I say boredom, they may have gotten bored with you, Capricorn, because we can be boring sometimes, but boring is safe. Boring can also be successful. But the chronic boredom and why do I feel like is exactly the reason why you're not speaking to this person? And Capricorn, to be honest with you, this could be romantic related, but I feel very strongly that this is friendship, coworker vibes. Like somebody sees you doing well, they don't have anything going on or even things, even worse, things are stagnant at the moment. And it's the watching and seeing what's going on with you. The fact that things are going well for you, that things are coming together. Oh, you're popular now. Oh, you have the approval of certain people, Capricorn. That's what's bringing this person around. It's the status factor. It's the fact that you're blowing up. Blowing up, glow up. The success is looking good on you. And especially if this person is very flashy, Likes a lot of excitement. I feel like this person could be good looking themselves. But maybe that's all they have to offer, Capricorn. When I say that this person wants to come back and reconnect, be wary of this person that is coming back only to benefit themselves. Notice how this Queen of Cups, nurturer, lover, in the reverse, this person needs you. I told you, chronic boredom, stagnant, nothing going on, watching you, seeing things happen for you. And now it's the, well, let me see what I can get from them. Maybe, and, and I strongly feel, anytime I see this queen of cups here in the revert, coming with a sad sob story. I see things are going really good with you. Uh, let's hang out. Let's catch a drink, girl. It, it kind of gives me that energy. Like, uh, all of a sudden, why does this person want to come back? Let's clarify here. I want to know... No, I'm not going to use this deck. Because I'm going to use it in the next reading. i use this one, though. <sighs> 
What's this Knight of Wands in and out? When I say that this person has nothing to give, but they see you as somebody who has a lot to offer, that's exactly what this is. And notice how this Knight of Cups, the opposite of this Knight of Fire, water fire here, is, is coming in the opposite, to spinning the block. They're coming in all hot, hot and heavy, quickly. Again, really exciting. Let's go for drinks. Let's go for coffee. Let's hang out. And really, they need to bend the knee, fam. Big Taurus, Libra. And this person is only coming back. Let me be clear. And I know this is going to rub people the wrong way, but I said what I said. This is another reason why I don't talk about spirit says, because I said this person is only coming around, hanging out, wanting to see what's going on here. Because they feel like you might be a little in a better position right now. They, they, you've surpassed them. You're, you're better than what they have going on, period, point blank. And that's this wanting to drink from your cup, wanting to have, wanting to have a seat at your table, Capricorn. That's exactly what this is. While we have the Empress here, this Queen of Cups, when we're talking about rank and we see it twice here, they're not the same. This person is coming to learn from you. But that learning from you, it is only a matter of time before this person turns on you. Do you understand what I'm saying? We see Virgo, we've seen Pisces, we have Sagittarius, Taurus, Libra here. Go ahead and drop your birthday in this person's sign down below. That's exactly what this is. If they couldn't beat you, now they want to join you. And the fact that I'm seeing this wild waves in the water here on the beach, like things are going really rough for this person or this person's had a really rough time since you've separated and the glow up, the nine of pentacles twice. The fact that you have things going on. Notice how everything in her garden is growing. It's the carrots in the hand, the tomatoes in the background. They see that you've been producing, productive. Oh, more earth. Capricorns tap in. Shout out to the Capricorn born in the year 94 or is 49, tap in. They want to know your secret. They want to know how you did it, how you're doing it. You know what, Capricorn? You know what I can't stand? Is a person who comes at you talking about, well, wh why don't you put me on? Why don't you hook me up? This is one of those hook me up type of people. Like they're on the fence, they're, they're not quite sure, they're half in, half out, not very committed. This is one of those people's Capricorn that when you help them, you find yourself more frustrated trying to help this person than if you just would have left them alone and let them figure it out on them on their own. This person is wanting something from you. If you did not have a bunch of things going on here, this person would not be reaching out. This person would not be wanting to reconcile. They would not be wanting to talk to you. And again, this Ace of Swords here, this person is waiting for the right opportunity to connect and reach out. Start a conversation here because they see you doing well, stacking your pentacles. They've seen your statuses shared because you have things going on. They, you have things going on. You see the page of pentacles, lots of earth. Your stability looks good, especially when somebody's been stagnant, when they've been having a rough time, when they were thinking they were better than you and really now they're having to spin the block on you. This is one of those humbling little moments. And here's the thing with when you have these humbling little moments with these people that really don't want to be humble is it is only a matter of time. before this person that's trying to be patient turns into an agent of chaos. 
start to try to wreak havoc on what you have going on here. And I would be curious to know why it is you stop talking to this person. And mm -hmm. you, you're reaping what you've sown, Capricorn. And what I mean by that is especially this person that's been hustling and working on themselves, not focus on what other people were doing or what other people did wrong to them. Get it. You didn't get stuck in this victim mentality. This screams the victim mentality. Other people haven't shown me. They haven't helped me. And now they're hoping that, that you will show them the way. Oh, now they want to be mentored by you. Now they want to help you. Now they want to ask questions. Oh, can we study together? Is that right? The tables have turned. When I say that this person thought they were better than you, that's exactly what they thought. The fact that you're living a very happy, solid, stable, and balanced life, balance, balance, triggering, triggering, hurtful. And again, we see this person being very immature in their mindset, in the way that they speak. What else? Mm air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. When I say watching from a distance, it is hurting them. See you be successful. Notice how this person has a whole globe in their head. The world is in your hands, Capricorn. They see that. They recognize that. They're wanting what you have. And not just a Man, they're really successful. I, I want to be like that too. It's not one of those, oh, they're motivated by you. See, that's one thing. That's not jealousy and envy. It's good to have people motivate you to want to do better. This is not that. This is, this turns into competitive energy. And the twos, again, drop those repeating numbers. The two of fire, the two of earth, right. There's two sides to this individual. I also feel like this is either your second chance or you've already given this person a second chance at working things out, at working things out with you. Capricorn, the Ten of Wands here and the Lovers, Big Gemini, Sixes. And this, what was the straw that broke the camel's back? There was a blessing that you received could be a solid and stable relationship, could have been an opportunity, job offer, whatever it was, that somebody's jealousy, I feel like resulted in a betrayal. You know, and really when I think of the lovers, Adam and Eve, Genesis chapter three, it's the, they could have done anything, but they did this one particular thing, like totally betraying somebody's trust, breaking a promise, not fulfilling a, a simple commitment. And I feel like a very simple commitment. Like, and notice the snake here. And I wear a snake as a reminder, you know, to do the right thing, to not go left. They let that snake get in their ear, whether it was their own jealousy or possibly even other people. And I feel like that was the falling out. Understand that now that they see you being blessed beyond that other situation here, I feel like this self-reflection from this person is only temporary until they realize they cannot duplicate with the repeating numbers what it is that you're doing. I also feel like something that you're doing alone and by yourself is something that they can only achieve through doing it with other people or the support of other people. <sighs> Big Leo energy here with the strength card. This person admires your strength, but it is also your strength that is triggering to this individual. I also feel Nine of Pentacles, the Strength card here, the Three of Cups, that you have a lot of attention, especially for this person, because again, I feel like it's friends, but it could be anybody. For those of you that have a lot of options, men, women around you, that's also a, a, tr a trigger point for this individual. Mm -hmm. And look at here, a confrontation. 
when I say that your strength makes this person insecure or highlights this person's insecurities, you need to be careful. I also feel like, again, with the coming back humbly, it's taken a lot of strength for this person to even try and have this conversation and, and talk to you because of the past. And really, it, it's, it's how they feel about you. If you didn't have anything to offer this person, before, the only thing you have to offer them now is access to this new part of your life. Who are these new people that you're around? 11, 11. This person is watching you make your dreams come true. Or maybe even watching you live their dream. And that's the, the dangerous aspect of this. Like there's something that they're keeping to themselves and you can tell that like, mm, you have history with this person, but they, why do I feel like somebody's very sneaky? Cancer energy here with the, yeah. I feel like somebody's very sneaky and lazy. And like that's part of the coming towards you to see if you can help them or put them on. It's kind of like, well, you already know. So it would just be easy for you to do it for me and then set me up and get it moving. Mm -mm -mm. When I tell you this person is going to reach out with a sob story. Regret, remorse, and not just about the falling out between you and this individual, but also, you know, whatever little drama they've, you know, invited into their own life. Multiple fives. Which five, five is a number of change. And the page of pentacles twice. Yeah. This whole retrograde. Distractions. People coming to mooch. Looking for opportunities. They don't have anything else going on. And that's the wanting to... Mm-hmm. That's the wanting to, excuse me, come back around. We see this. You have options. You have a lot going on. And to, you know, to a person like this, you have a lot that you could give away. You have plenty of opportunities. You can help this person, put them on. I also feel like somebody's impulses or lack of impulse control is a big factor. Why do I feel like you can't bring this person around your friends, your friends, your family, your new connections, whatever it is. Like there's a, there's an element of this person being wild or ratchet or and or out of control in which you can't bring them around the new people that you're around because you're not in the same place as this person. You're not in the same place now as the, the last time you were in contact with this person. Five, five, five. Fire, water, air. Chaos. When I tell you that this person is in a competition with you and they really and they really want to win by any means necessary. And this really speaks to somebody thinking that you can put them on and once they know what you know or do what you do, they'll immediately blow up and take off in the same way that you have. But again, what you've done by yourself, they need a team of people to recreate. And, it, and it's the eight for me. Quickly moving on, quickly moving forward. I feel like if somebody doesn't get fast results, they're out. Or somebody thinks that you've gotten fast results, but it's not fast results. You've worked very hard for whatever it is that you, you're working on or have accomplished. Because we don't do luck on this channel. When I say that this person is looking for a handout, is looking for help, they're coming in, acting like they have something to offer, but it's really not that. It, it's the zombie energy for me. They don't have anything going on. To me, this speaks to one of those non-player characters. They're asking you to forgive them, but they would have never done this prior to if you were not successful. Like, I would never apologize to Capricorn over my dead body with this judgment. 
But now that other people are co-signing you, giving you the thumbs up or the green light, opportunities are ringing in, you know, now they don't feel any type of way about working with you. Now they want to cooperate. Oh, it's been hard to hear from you. You've been on the run. What are you running away from me? Yes. Yes, I'm running away from you. No, I don't want to work with you. No, let's don't, let's not link up. No, I don't want to have a drink with you. No, none of that. I also feel like this coming towards you, notice how there's fire in the background here in this nine of wands and on this car here. Is that this is a distraction for them as they're living through their own little dumpster fire situation. And it's the burning bridges and history of betrayal for me. Like this long time no see and when to get back together is not just not just because you have something to offer them, but because things are not going well where they are currently at. This is somebody really looking to jump ship. And if they can jump ship back into your life where there's success and good things coming on, you know, maybe you can release them from the situation or from whatever else they got going on here in the background. Capricorn, drop this person's sign down below. Let me know what resonated for you. Hit the like button, subscribe, share this video. Find me on Instagram and family. I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.